Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing my Fame Expo haul and other things that I've bought in over the past couple weeks that I shouldn't have bought but I'd end I ended up buying anyways so I wanted to share those things with you I'm sorry if I sound a little sick I am getting better from my cold so I'm sorry if I still sound a little scratchy let me go ahead and show you all of the new things I bought at Fame Expo so here is my bag You guys, Fame Expo was so much fun this year. If you came up to me and you said hi, thank you so, so much. I know you guys are watching, but it's different when I meet you in person. Like, that feeling is just so incredible. And thank you so much if you came up to me to say hi. It just meant everything to me, so thank you so much. So, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the things I got at Fame Expo and some of the things I've just picked up over the last few weeks. I'm not gonna go in any order, I'm just gonna see whatever comes out first and let you know where I got it. Get a snack, if you have a snack, get a snack or get something to drink because girl, this is, this gonna take a while. The first thing are these lashes from Flutter Lashes and this is in the style Intoxicated and Increased. I got these at Morphe's Brushes, the store in Burbank. I have seen these for a while and decided to pick them up and try them out. They are super pretty. They're not mink lashes, they're synthetic, but they look soulful and beautiful. So I'm so excited to try these out. Next thing I see here is... <laughs> okay, guys. 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 I went to Morphe, the Morphe store in Burbank, and I only went there for one thing. And it was this. My highlight is so, so intense because of this skin frost from Jeffrey. I got the color Keem Tuck. It is absolutely stunning. Like, like, oh my god, can you die? Did you die? Because I did. It is so freaking pretty and all of them are amazing, but if I had to recommend one, I recommend Keem Tuck. If you have medium to dark skin complexion, this is going to look so fucking amazing on you. I kid you not. I am so in love with this highlight. I cannot put it down for the life of me. It is so smooth and creamy and it's just so fucking pigmented. Like, this is going to last me like two lifetimes, I swear. And you could get this at Morphe. I don't know if they still have it. I know he's going to restock on the website pretty soon. So, staying on the topic of Jeffree Star... <laughs> I also ordered the Beauty Killer palette. Ta da! This thing is huge too, like it is bigger than my face. <laughs> this thing is so pretty, and let me open it for you guys. I'm sure you guys have seen it, but oh, guys, <laughs> this is so pretty. It is so stunning and so beautiful. I mean, all the colors, like this black was the one that really convinced me because oh, it has little specks of glitter in it. And this blue as well is just so darn beautiful. Like, oh my god. Like, I love this palette. I love how colorful it is. So definitely wait for looks with using this palette because I am going to play with it so much. The last thing that I got from Jeffree Star are two of his liquid lipsticks. And this is in the color Gemini and this is in the color Scorpio. I have been wanting Scorpio for the longest time and he either restocks either or like it's never at the same time so when I saw that both of them were gonna be restocked like I was glued to my computer at 10 o'clock like I did not want to I don't want to pay double shipping I'm just like that I'm just like I'm not gonna I'm just gonna wait until it's on but ugh, these colors are so gorgeous Gemini has been my go-to lately Gemini is a beautiful nude pink color everyday wear and Scorpio is the perfect purple purple gray nude it's just stunning at fame one of the first things that I knew I absolutely had to have without a doubt like if I could only get one thing it would be this right here and it is the melt stack the new rust melt stack you guys oh my god I was as soon as I saw the girls uploading pictures I was like yes bitch yes like I need that in my life so this is in the color Rot, a beautiful dark purple color. The next one is Classic, a beautiful vanilla color. Next one is Antique, just a gorgeous apricot color. 
Next one is Rust. Rust is the reason I bought this, honestly. This is such a beautiful color. I love this color so much. I cannot stress that enough. And the last color is called Rubbish, which is a beautiful, like, mustard yellow color. It is gorgeous for the crease. And, yeah. Um. I always drop something. It's fine. We're okay. You see? We're okay. Thank God. I would have fucking lost it right now if this broke. I'm not gonna lie. Because I already dropped it once. But I guess the girls were saying that they made sure that this was like super bulletproof. Like you could drop it anywhere and it's not gonna break or shatter. So just tested it out. It works. And I'm going to add it to my Dark Matter stack. Ah! <laughs> I love this stack. I love this idea. I love that they that you could stack the shadows like this. I think it's really cool and unique. Brittany picked that up for me because I was running super late. But I'm glad she did. Thank you, girl. I picked up the Hidden Treasures palette by Dose of Colors. Uh, this came out the second time around, and I was not going to miss it this time. I, As you guys can see, I've been abusing Gemstone quite a bit. I love this palette. This palette is by far the most pigmented eyeshadows I have, especially the foiled ones. Amazing, amazing, amazing formula. I absolutely adore the formula on these. They're so pigmented and so... I just can't. This formula is amazing. I would say it's really worth it if you are... A makeup artist because I've been using <laughs> I've been using these non-stop on my clients because they absolutely adore adore shimmer like this so I love to offer that for them love it so far I don't regret buying it I absolutely adore this palette this palette is really really good at fame expo I stopped by Nigel's and I picked up the 11 foundation palette by makeup forever I've been dying to have this for my kit just because of the colors in here I got 11 foundations the girl was telling me that the formula is nothing like the HD formula for the stick or foundation it's more of a wax base foundation it's super pigmented you really just have to work the product in and kind of warm it up in order for it to apply smoothly so I already tested it out I love the finish on this it is amazing so if you freelance check this out it is so good and i think i only got this for like 67 dollars which is a steal because these usually retail over a hundred dollars if i'm not wrong but i thought that was such a great deal the other thing i got from nigel's was this brow pro palette by anastasia and this is the one where all the shades are in here for brows this oh my god i'm so happy i finally got this I got this for $60 and it is such a great help for my kit. I've already done a couple clients and this makes my life so much easier. I love this product so much. It is so worth it if you freelance like I said. And I only got this for $60 at Fame Expo you guys. That is such a steal. I mean I, ne I don't have to worry about eyebrows anymore because this has absolutely everything. So I am so in love with this product. The other thing I got from... Nigel's was the RCMA no color powder. I've been oh, this has been so hard to get so I'm happy I finally picked it up I heard it's supposed to be a great dupe for the Laura Mercier powder If you're trying to find a good quality translucent powder check this out. It is amazing My birthday was May 16th um, and I had a little get-together and Brittany was so nice to get me a gift. This is the neutral one. Um, I guess it's called palette ombre so i have not stopped using this since she gave me this it's such a beautiful warm tone palette oh, i love this palette so much and i got it in um usp03 warm neutrals if any of you are interested this is like morphe 35.0 in a smaller palette you guys i swear every color you want from the 35.0 is basically here so get it try it out I'm sure you're gonna love this. I have not stopped using it since she gave it to me. It is so, so good. And she also gave me two NYX liquid suede lipsticks. And this is in the color The Popper. And this is 
in the color soft spoken i have an open soft spoken but i'm gonna wear it pretty soon because that color is so pretty and she gave me two glitters um glitter number eight and glitter number one i used glitter number eight already it's so pretty i've been dying to try their glitter eyeshadows and i'm so happy she gave me this these two i love love glitter so much and she knows this <laughs> i went to walgreens and every time i go i never find these and out of nowhere <laughs> they were so stocked i picked all of them up i picked up the um brushes uh i'm pretty sure you guys have seen the pink ones around <sighs> these are so pretty i don't even think i'm gonna use them i'm probably gonna have them as a collection so i'm so excited i finally got these they are so so cute I went to Ulta and I saw, I wanted to get a bronzer, but the bronzers I saw were kind of, I don't know, I, I just didn't want to pay that much for a bronzer at the time, so I was like, where else can I find a good cheap bronzer, and obviously e.l.f. 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 is so freaking good, I swear, I got this bronzer, the quad one, <sighs> This is so pretty. I have it on today. It is so subtle and it is so pigmented. I think you're going to love this because it's not too warm and it's not too cool tone. It's really neutral. The colors are neutral and it is just so perfect to warm up the face. I love this and for $6, I'm so happy I got this and not a super expensive one. I stopped by Lady Moss at Fame Expo. They had a 4 for 20 sale for the lashes. I picked up the new style called Demi G. They're supposed to be a little more dramatic than Goddess. So I'm super excited to try these out. And I picked up a pair of Foxy, which are a full, full, full lash. Beautiful. And I picked up two Goddesses, which are my go-to lashes. I love Goddesses, you guys. are. If I had to recommend any from Coco Lashes, try Goddess. They are amazing. And they're so, so good. So good. The Makeup Shack was at Fame Expo this year. And it was their first time there, so I was super excited to see what they had. They had their mink lashes. These are usually $20 and I got them for $10. I picked up a pair in the style Slayer and they're the lashes I'm wearing right now actually. These lashes are so amazing. I love them. And I picked up the style Bad Gal which is a new one to the collection. It's definitely full but it's not as dramatic as Slayer. They're more of a full subtle look. And they're 100% mink. So if you're looking for a good quality mink lash i recommend those i picked up this cute little bundle that i pick up every year um these are three four beauty blenders they're for only 35 dollars so i don't even buy my beauty blenders at sephora anymore because i wait for this deal this deal is like the best deal they have there this is so 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 worth it and you save so much money right there alone because one beauty blender costs 20 dollars remember I got four beauty blenders for 35. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, from Morphe, I picked up a couple of things. I picked up three of their um, concealers. This is in the color Fudge, and this is in the color Oats. I also picked up Macchiato. It's somewhere in my mess. I can't find it, so I'm sorry. These are the new concealers. I'm not completely in love with the formula. It's good, it's super pigmented, but it creases like crazy. So as soon as you apply this, you have to set it right away. Other than that, I mean, it's it's fine. It's not the greatest. It's not like, oh my god, amazing. It's, it's a good concealer. Morphe had all the Elite brushes for 40% off, so <laughs> obviously I went crazy. So I picked up a lot of the brushes. Let me know if you guys want to see like a brush video collection of all the brushes I have. I have a lot of fucking brushes. Elite brushes are by far the best line Morphe has, so I was super excited to get all of these. I picked up another Laura Mercier translucent powder for my clients. I love this stuff for my clients. I can never go wrong, and it is... I love the travel size one, to be honest. I just like how much smaller it is to travel with instead of the big one, so I just stopped buying the big one and started just using the small one. I picked up glitter from Eye Candy in the color Candy Coin, which is a beautiful gold color because I don't, apparently I don't have one. I was trying to find one the other day and didn't know where I had one. I picked up this liquid lipstick from Color Rain called Cherry Blossom. This color I've been eyeing so much because of Ofra. She 
looks stunning in this red and it is a gorgeous blue undertone red it's just so pretty I love this kind of red I had more lipsticks where are they I went to pinky rose with Britney and I saw I've I've seen this brand on Instagram but never tried their liquid lipsticks so I decided to pick three out I picked out exotic and exotic looks like this a gorgeous gorgeous dark mauve color chocolate rose which is like a grayish brown color picked up the color queen which is like a perfect mix of those two together just a perfect nude i went to black moon cause to the black moon booth because i love this company i picked up the trinity pack and it is this one right here you guys are gonna die right now like i really mean die because i fucking died like died so this one is called armageddon and it is a red metallic color it's right there it is so beautiful and it has the perfect little red specks and it is definitely metallic it is just gorgeous gorgeous the next color is called immortal and it is a purple metallic if i could do this Just a beautiful, perfect metallic. I love Immortal. I was wearing it on my Snapchat after Fame X, if you guys remember. And the last color is called Sorrow. And I think Sorrow was what sold me. Like, like yes. I need Sorrow in my life. These are super pigmented. Super lightweight. And... They are so amazing. This formula is amazing because it, it dries matte, but it doesn't dry to the point where you feel like your lips are so, so dry. And it's not too like smooth where it's going to transfer. It is an amazing formula and I am obsessed with this blue. <laughs> I love this blue so much. The last thing I got was from Anastasia and I got the Modern Renaissance Palette. I don't own a single Anastasia eyeshadow, guys. I don't know I don't own any eyeshadows from Anastasia. I've been waiting to buy a palette. And the last palette they she released, I wasn't in love with it because it had a lot of shimmery shades and I tend to, to gravitate more towards warm matte shades anyways. So this is just perfect for me. This was everything I wanted. It's like she read my mind when she made this palette. I love it so much. All the colors are super warm tone. You have a little bit of bright colors in there with like the orange and the pink. And definitely you get your neutrals in here. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous palette. I love this so much. And the eye look I have on today is with all of these eyeshadows. So I am just completely obsessed with this palette. I also picked up uh, the new lip glosses that she had, which are the new minis. These are so cute. I love these. I think I like these a lot better than the regular ones. The formula on these is so, so thin, but super pigmented. Like, I still have some on from earlier today, and it's just lasted me all day. And a lip gloss usually is the first thing that, like, comes off for me, at least. But these are so... They're so gorgeous. I am completely in love with Toffee. Toffee is my favorite one. Just a gorgeous nude. Okay, you guys, and that is it. That is my little haul. Well, not so little. It's kind of it's kind of big in my opinion. Let me know if there's anything you guys would like to see. If you guys want a certain tutorial for me to do, I would love to do it. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you guys are having a good day, and I hope to see you guys on my next video. Bye!